Good morning. This is Monday, March 8th. I'd like to begin by wishing Alan Herrick a happy birthday. It was yesterday on Sunday. So, Alan, I hope you had a, a great birthday with your wife and family. What are you, 97 now? Yeah, Al Alan Herrick's 97. So, call Alan and wish him a happy birthday. So, happy birthday, Alan. Today's devotion is the surrendered life. This is Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. To become one with Christ, a person must be willing to not only give up sin, but also to surrender his whole way of looking at things. Being born again by the Spirit of God means that we must first be willing to let go before we can grasp something else. And what he means by that is our agenda, what we think should happen within the Christian walk. The first thing we must surrender is all of our pretense or deceit. What our Lord wants us to present to him is not our goodness or honesty or our efforts to do better, but real solid sin. And sin in this case means disobedience to what he would ask of us. And no matter how well intended our, our desires may be, we need to surrender all of that to him. Actually, that is all he can take from us. And what he gives us in exchange for our sin is real solid righteousness. But we must surrender all pretense that we are anything and give up all of our claims of even being worthy of God's consideration. That's total humility. And the psalmist writes that humility at this degree is the beginning of true wisdom. Once we have done that, the Spirit of God will show us what we need to surrender next. Along each step of this process, we will have to give up our claims to our rights to ourselves. In other words, we may think, even well intended again, that we need to go here and do this in ministry. And God may not want us to go there and do that. He may have something totally different for us. So we have to give up our rights to ourselves, even if they're very well intended. Are we willing to surrender our grasp on all that we possess, our desires, and everything else in our lives? Are we ready to be identified with the death of Jesus Christ? We may suffer a sharp, painful disillusionment before we fully surrender. When people really see themselves as the Lord sees them, it is not the terrible offense of sin of the flesh that shock us, but the awful nature of our pride that can get in the way and oppose what Jesus would have for us. When they see themselves in this light, the shame and horror and the desperate conviction hits home for them. And this struck me in this capacity. When I found my moment of entire sanctification, I realized the stubbornness, well-intended stubbornness that I had been carrying in the name of Jesus. And when I really saw it for myself of who I was, God released me from that. If you're faced with the question of whether or not to surrender, make a determination to go on through this crisis. It's a crisis moment. We have two. One when we get saved, and one when we're called to surrender everything to God. Make a determination to go on through this, this crisis, surrendering all that you have and all that you are to the Lord. And God will then equip you to do all that He requires of you. And the challenge I have is, do we walk fully given over to whatever God wants? You know, and that's the thing about sanctification. We, we do find it as a, a crisis moment. It is a, a, an event in which it happens in our lives, but then we seek to walk in that every single day. So are we walking in this given over lifestyle to God? Let's pray. Father, I thank you for uh, calling us to these moments in which we are completely given over to you. And Lord, I pray that we could all see the, uh, the depths to which you, uh, you went to redeem us. And through that, Father, we would be more than happy to surrender everything about our lives, that we may be filled with you. And Lord, within that, there's so much joy. So be with us today, Lord, as we would seek to walk freely with you. And we pray this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.